Hello students, all of you welcome to Future Doctor Nikita Academy. Students, you are all watching our video every day. We are also giving seven problems every day. But only watching and prepare for the NEET examination is not enough. So if you come and join in our, in our academy and prepare for the NEET examination, examination means it is very comfort to you. So we have good faculty and good facilities also here. So you can, if you come and join here means you can complete your NEET examination within first at attempt, what I am telling. Okay. So you need, you need not waste for one year. Okay. So we can you can complete the complete your NEET examination within one attempt. So join our academy and get your benefits. Understood? Now, uh, I'm, I mostly I given more than 10 lessons problem. I did. Now, only a few lessons problem is there. Here, uh, today I am going to do one of the lessons in 11th standard that is, you know, hydrocarbon. Okay. Uh, this is organic chemistry uh, lesson. Okay. Now I am going to give, I already given the sums. Now I am going to solve sound sums in hydrocarbon chapter. Understood? Let us go to the first sum. Okay. See the first sum CH3COONA soda lime to get A. Same CH3COONA on electrolysis to get B. That is a question. We have to find out the common A and B. Understood? See here, you know, soda lime means, you know, it is a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide so here i write the equation here just listen ch3 coo in a okay right soda lime means what it's a mixture of it's a mixture of sodium hydroxide and calcium oxide in the ratio 3 is to 1 okay so soda lime means you know yeah, what's the role of this reagent means it removes co2 molecule from the compounds okay how co2 molecule is removed means here see that you know that this will be removed Okay, now what's the pro product? This will not involve, this only involve, sodium hydroxide only is involved in the reaction. Then H here, CH3 here, now it becomes what? We get the product, what? We get the product, methane. Simple one, plus what? Sodium carbonate, Na2CO3. Are you following? Okay. So here, you know, the option A, no, and you know, the A is what? No, methane. Understood, methane. Understood. Then, now go to the second one. CH3CONA on electrolysis is the first one. Okay. Second one is the same CH3CONA on electrolysis. See that CH3COONA sodium acetate no on electrolysis. What happened? It, it is first of all it is fitted into ions, you know. Okay. Okay. You know that. So product will be you know CH3COO minus plus what? Na plus. Understood? Okay. You know that it's electrolyte. Then only when on electrolysis it produces ions, you know that. Okay. It is a you know it is a anion, it is a cation. So you know here it goes, you know, CS3, C O and A, it goes to what? Cathode, no? Okay. It goes to anode. So at, at cathode. Now see the reaction at cathode. At cathode, cathode, what happens means? Okay, okay. So C S3 C O and A. So you write two times C S3, then only we get the product. C S3 C O and A. You write two times C S3 C O O N A. Understood? Okay, simple one, you know that it is two times CO2 molecules will be removed. Then two electron minus minus means two electron will be removed. Then there will be a bond found between between CS3 and CS3. So what? CS3 single bond CS3. That's a product. Okay, CS3. Okay, then single bond CH3. You know, two carbonates what? You know, ethane. Understood? So common A is methane, common B is ethane. Same common, same common which on the reagent is different, no. So here we are doing decarboxylation process. Here we are doing electrolysis process. Okay, the same kind of common undergo different process. We are getting different product. Understood? Okay. Plus this is all you know the sub product. You know two times CO2 molecule plus what? Two times electron. Understood? Simple one. Okay. So answer A is the correct option. See the next one. Very important one. Sometimes they'll give. C6H5CONA also they will give. Aromatic commons also they will give. Okay. If aromatic commons is given means what? Here what? We will be getting benzene. Understood? Are you following? Okay. Next one. The reactions of 2 methyl propane to all in presence of concentrated sulfuric acid at 443 Kelvin to give. Okay. That's a question. Okay. So, you know, constant sulfuric acid. It's a, this role of this reaction, you must know this is called what? This is called dehydrating agent. Dehydrating agent. What is the dehydrating agent that remove water molecule? Okay, students, here the product A is nothing but you know methane. The product you know B is nothing but what ethane. So answer A is the correct option. Understood? Okay. 
Next one. Here, you know, two methyl propen to all uh, reacts with conscious sulfuric acid to give dash. That's a question. Okay. So, you know, this is a deadening agent. What is deadening agent? It removes water molecules from the compounds. That's called dehydrating agent, you know. Okay. So, you know, first you draw this. What is this? How to draw? See that? You know, two methyl propen to all. Two methyl propen to propen means, you know, three carbon. Two all means what? Propen two all. Propen means you know three three carbon no three carbon no two having OH group the same two having what methyl group then you can fill by hydrogen you know that this is nothing but here how to fill up here CH three will come here also CH three will come and if you put constant sulfuric acid what is the role of this I told you already this is an deadening agent that removes water molecule from the compounds. If you, if you put this one, what happened? Here water molecule will be removed. That is, you know, this OH takes hydrogen from all our beta carbon. This also beta, this also beta, this also beta. If we can remove, uh, we can take any hydrogen from here. So minus H2O will be removed. Now the product will be, what's the product? CH3, simple one. C, CH3, understood. Here, you know, we are removing the H2O molecule between this carbon and this carbon. No, then the double one will come between this carbon and this carbon. So here double bond will come. Understood? Here already CH3, you know, now CH2. Now what is the name of this compound? You know, 1, 2, 3, 2 having methyl, no, 2 methyl. Okay, 2 methyl propene. 2 methyl propene is answer. C is the correct one. You following? Okay, see the next one, third one. Voss analysis of 2 methyl butoin followed by zinc in presence of H2O gives. Okay, this is very, very important Voss analysis. Ozone analysis means addition of ozone, O3, you know. First you write this common. Butte, butte means what? Butte means what? We have, we have four carbon. One, two, three, four. Understood? Two in, no. So double bond in between two and three. So I put double bond here. Then same two having what? Methyl group is there. Understood? Methyl. Then you can fill by hydrogen. How to fill up here? Here what? CH3, no. That or not. Here already. 4 bond is there. Here already uh, 3 bond is there. Then only 1 H will come. Already 1 bond is there. So CH3 will come. You know the valency of carbon? 4. Okay. This is called what? 2, me two methyl but 2 in. Okay. Then osmolysis means what? What is osmolysis? Addition of ozone. Okay. If you add ozone to this uh, compound, the ozone is, is going to add in between wherever the double bond is present. Okay. So double bond is present in between these two carbon. No. The three oxygen atoms is going to add in between the two carbon. Then only this process are useful to find out the position of double bond in organic compounds. Wherever double bond is present, this ozone molecule is going to add in between. Okay. So ozone process are useful to find out the location of double bond in organic compounds. Okay. Sometimes they lost. Dash process are useful to locate the presence of double bond in organic compound means ozone lysis process. Understood? Okay. Now. What's, what's the product going to obtain means? No, the three oxygen is, is going to add in between these two carbon. Okay. The product will be CH3, C, down CH3. Okay. Now, one oxygen I put top, another oxygen I put down. See, like that. One oxygen I put down, top, one oxygen, two oxygen I put down, like that. Now, no bond will come in between these two carbon. Because already carbon valence is satisfied. Understood? This is called intermediate. Intermediate, we can say what? Ozonide. Okay. Now, now next one is what? Next one, we are adding a zinc in presence of water molecule. If we add means what happened? Now the product will be. See, the, when we add zinc, means zinc in presence of water molecule means the what? The water molecule breaks the the com bigger com biggest compound into smaller compounds. Are you following? Are you following? We are getting two common. This side one common, that side one common. This side is called CS3, CO, CS3. Just try to understand. It's a ketone common. Understood? CS3, CO, CS3. CS3, CO, CO, CS3 means what? It is a propanone. Are you following? This side one common, that side one common. This side what? CS3, CS3, C, double bond O, CH3. Understood? Okay. That side. CH3 CHO okay plus what CH3 CHO 
is called, you know, ethanol. Two carbon, it's all you know. All it means, you know, it's a ethanol. It's a proper noun. So option A is the correct answer. Understood? Are you following? Okay. So wherever double bond is present, this oxygen molecule is going, this ozone molecule is going to uh, add in between the double bond. Understood? Right. Very important. Okay. So just practice. Sometimes uh, both are aldehyde, both are ketone. Sometimes one, one is aldehyde, one is ketone. Okay. Yeah. Next one, when HBr adds to but one in presence of benzyl peroxide to form dash. Simple question. Whenever alkene adhesion halide, immediately you must uh, know it is a the Markanica rule or anti Markanica rule. But if, if you use peroxide means you must know this is called what? What rule? I already told you this is called what? Anti Markanica rule. It's simply right. Okay. You know that first I'll write the common. What's a but? But means what? We have four carbon. One in one in means what? Double bond in between one and two. Okay, I start the number here. One and two. Then remaining you can fill by hydrogen. So here what? CH three. Here what? CH two. Here CH. Here CH two. No, sorry, you know the valence of carbon four. Okay, it's called but one in add. Which is added? HBr is added. Understood? Okay. Now, in presence of what? It's a peroxide. If you use peroxide means, you must know this is an anti marconic anti rule. What is anti marconic rule? Well, first of all, you are split into plus minus. Here also, we have to split. What is anti marconic rule? The positive part goes to carbon atom which carries less number of hydrogen. Positive part. This is a positive part, no? Positive part goes to carbon atom which carries less number of hydrogen. This carbon atom one hydrogen, this carbon atom two hydrogen, no? So positive part goes to carbon atom which carries less number of hydrogen. Automatically, the negative part goes to other side. Are you following? Okay. Simply then you can add, you get one product. That's the option. Okay. So now see what's the product? Uh, CH3. Okay. Then CH2. Okay. Then what? H, H will come, you know. Already one hydrogen is there. Now it becomes what? Two hydrogen and CH2. Then here I told you, you know, double whenever anything added. The double bond becomes, you know, single bond. Right now, now CH2, we are simple one. One, two, three, four. The uh, bromine is present in first carbon. So, one bromo butane. Where is one bromo butane? This answer, one bromo butane. Are you following? Okay. Suppose the same thing, we, instead of, if, suppose benzyl peroxide is not used, means we should use what? Mark and cup rule. So, we will be getting two bromo butane. Understood? Okay. See the next one. The number of sigma and pi bond in benzene. Okay, simple one, very simple. Okay. Uh, sigma bond and pi bond, no. Okay, first you draw the benzene structure. You know that benzene structure. Okay. Here, double bond in alternate position, correct or not? Okay. Here, each, we have six corner, no. Six corner, six carbon is there. Each and every corner, we have iodine is also there. You know that. Okay. This is all very simple question I, I given. Okay. Okay. Simple. Okay. You know, find sigma bond. Sigma bond here. Sigma bond nothing but, you know, all the sig single bond, you know. First of all, we can we find out between C and H, how many sigma bond. Okay. C and H means C, C is equal H. Single, sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond, sigma bond. Understood? So between C and H, how many sigma bond we have? Five, sorry, six sigma bond. Correct or not? Between C and H, we have six sigma bond. Then between C and C, between C and C, one, two, three, four, five, six. Between C and C, we have again six sigma bond. Understood? Then come to the double bond. Double bond we consider as a what? Double bond we consider as what? Pi bond. Okay, this is called you know pi bond. It's one pi, it's also one pi, it's also one pi. Here this also between between C and C. We have how many pi bond? We have we have what? Three pi bond. Understood? So totally six plus six, you know, twelve sigma bond and three pi bond. Simple answer. D is the correct one. Understood? Okay. Next one. The order of Hybridization sp3, sp2, and sp2. Okay. So here just remember 
yes just remember if you have uh, four sigma bond means around the carbon atom we have four sigma bond means sp3 hybridization we have two three sigma bond means what sp2 hybridization okay likewise it, go, it go, goes on suppose sp means we have two sigma bond see i'll do the first one say so first you have to expand the structure ch3 ch3 out right here you have one two three now three carbon no put like that okay then to th this carbon first single bond here double bond that or not then here you, ex you expand the structure then only you can able to find out very correctly okay right ch3 that or ch3 then C this carbon only h is there that or not only h is there then in this carbon we have two hydrogen is there two hydrogen understood two hydrogen is there okay so this is the concept see i told you know all the sigma bond is nothing but sing all the single bond is called sigma bond okay now see that see how, how many how many sing, single bond here one all the single bond is called sigma bond okay i told you know around the carbon atom how many sigma bond we have we have four sigma bond i told you know four sigma bond means what kind of hybridization sp3 hybridization understood okay then come to this carbon now one i told you all the same single bond means sigma bond here double bond is there so first bond always sigma bond remaining will be what pi bond are you following understand around the carbon atom now see how many sigma bond one two three three around the carbon atom we have what three sigma bond i told you know three sigma bond means what kind of hybridization sp sp2 are you following understood now come to next carbon here all sigma bond no so single bond is called sigma bond here also sigma bond now now count around the carbon atom how many sigma bond here three sigma bond three sigma bond means i told you know this also sp2 hybridization okay now answer is if you do if the same rule if you follow other common means it will not work out okay i am doing only the answer okay so answer is what so first one is sp3 next one is sp2 next one is also sp2 so uh, this common is having only this kind of order then only answer a is the correct one understood okay just remember four sigma bond means sp3 three means sp2 two means sp okay right next one point b of the following this also i have given this was list is process see you take this common simple one you can use to answer them ha uh, ch3 ch3 ch double bond ch ch3 on ozone ozone analysis okay i told you no where whenever if you add ozone it is going to add in between wherever double bond is present okay now the product will be you know it is going to add in between the two carbon no i told you ch3 okay ch understood now no double bond will come no bond will come in between these two carbon so one oxygen i put top okay other two oxygen i put down understood see that is called in intermediate is called ozonide okay then again so a is called you know but a did not they didn't ask a find b of the following they are asking only b okay b only you have to find out okay this called intermediate so that intermediate if you add zinc in presence of h2o i told you no okay so here it's a you know it's a complex no when we add water it will break the complex okay like this very simple by practice only it will come okay that kind of practice in our academy daily so if you come and join in our academy you can get more benefit than watching video some of the students only watching video it's enough you are thinking but it's not enough okay so i'm telling i'm um, each and every video i'm telling like that okay so only watching and getting marks somewhat difficult if you want very if you want to get very high marks means okay watching video only is not enough to okay come and join in our academy we will give more uh, coaching to you okay okay now see the product this side one product that side one product but both the sides we are getting same product ch3cho here also ch3cho okay so we are we getting what two times two times what ch3 cho understood nothing but what you know cho is called what you know already get no already means what how it ends with it ends with al ethanol are you following two carbon no so answer a is the correct one
Understood? Okay, students. Thank you. We will see in the next class.